Hey, I'm Nick Avalon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2019, Stage Racer, episode number 68. Just about done here with the Giro d'Italia, stage 18. Apparently cobble, but I don't see anything resembling cobble out here. There might be one section somewhere, and that's going to be it. Uh, but we do have one punchy climb, about 20k before the finish. It'll do a little damage. It could leave a number of sprinters behind, but I think we'll still have a pretty good sized peloton as we uh, attack the finish. So this stage actually does have a, a pretty decent chance of getting interesting. It's not just this climb. I'm going to slow it down a little bit and show you what I mean. One, you can hear it. You can kind of see it. It's raining. That comes with its own little element of surprise that can make things interesting. Here's the profile at the end. Looking through, no sign of a cobbled section. But if we go in to the map and zoom in all the way, there's where we are now, here's where we're headed. It loops around, it gets a little tricky here, so it's hard to, t to tell exactly what's going on. But the Pramartino, that's our Category 2 climb. This is our cobbled section. This is the finish. We go through the finish, and then I don't know if we loop this way, and then go around and then come back. Or if we're going to loop this way, and then come back. But either way, you can see that there's a little bit of an overlap here. And it reconnects to the road. So I think we're going to hit this. It's only a one star section. It's only... That's really short. <laughs> it's really short. Okay, it's crazy short. Uh, but we hit it, I think twice and here's why I think we hit it twice okay just to the left of the finish line you have that very short very steep punchy little climb I think that's where it's at I believe also if you look just to the left of our category 2 climb hitting roughly the same elevation hitting through part of it anyway, the same angle of elevation change through part of it, short little punchy climb right before the category two. I think we hit it twice, but we hit it from different directions and part of it is a little bit different as we loop back. Like one of them goes through this way, one of them goes through this way or the other way right whichever way it is while coming back this way or going back this way well whichever direction it is i think that's where our divergence is uh, on the path of this loop and not necessarily right here that's where it comes back together to the finish uh, and that's very close to the finish and that windy thing is the entirety of our category two climb which actually okay could make a little prediction here if that's the climb the winding that would mean the climb is from about here to about here you got a much shorter distance here much longer distance here so here's my prediction now shorter distance punchy little thing straight into the category two climb then a bit of a gap before you get to the other punchy little thing and you're still kind of winding down so this looks like still kind of winding down and then bam you hit it again and then finish so i think we're gonna go this way take a right straight through here and then up we go down we go still kind of down and then we hit it again on the way to the finish. I believe that's where we're gonna get, but that does mean we hit 
a short, steep, punchy, one star cobbled section. So while the short, steep, punchy favors me, the cobbled does not, but it's right before the finish. So if you're in the right position, you're at the front and you attack it, and if it's really short, like it seems to be, the cobble combined with the hills, I should at least be able to get over in a decent position, but I think it will do some damage to the field. Now we're getting pretty close to where this is all going to begin. The only other climbing of the day, besides those two short little punchy things, plus the category two climb, we just went over. Uh, how is water? Water's not good, actually. Let's get somebody who is terrible at climbing. I'm actually thinking Mezgetch might be a good one. Here, uh, I'm actually thinking that I, I kind of want to use the sprint train because of the short punchiness of this. Ooh, we got 21 riders off the back. Just off the back. It looks like they're trying to get back up here, though. I don't know if there was a crash. I don't remember hearing about a crash. Killing's almost done. I, I am tempted to get everyone up here. So let, let's do it. Not killing. Trentine's already there. We'll get all these guys running to the front. And meanwhile, Killen got his water. Uh, Killen's out the back. Mezgetch, while getting water, has gone out the back without running out of energy. Uh, there was another split, that's why. We're down to 104 riders. Mezgetch about to remake contact, but no longer carrying water. Now, at the front, we need to sort that out. I'll get who I have. Hey, we're almost there. We're almost there. I need to get on down here. Getting held up here in traffic. The race official not helping. Okay, a lot of my team is right here. And we're about to hit. The, there's the, the turn. This is the finish line right here. We're going to come back at it this way. We're going to make a right here. And then off we go and we'll come back to the finish that way. But this is already where it starts, so no water. Last 30k. We'll go like this, we're gonna go like this. These two guys are way too... Well, Mezgetch has recovered a bit. Uh, Killen has not. Mezgetch, you're gonna follow me. Because you're too far back to be a part of this thing right now. Uh, Schultz is probably the guy I want right in front of me. So we'll follow Schultz. Trentine, punchy. So we'll follow Trentine. And then Jakobsen, not a climber. We'll want him on the flat. Nazolo is punchy. Scottson's okay. He's balanced. But Jakobsen's the weak link. So go Scottson, Solo. Jakobsen. Jakobsen's already in a decent position, so we don't need to push him too hard. See if an 83... Yes. Oh, we went straight. We went straight. Okay, did I read this wrong? No. Okay, here's the turn. We're hitting it from the other direction. We're hitting it... Yeah. Okay, we're hitting it here and going this way. Around... And then we're going to come back, and then we're going to hit it here again, and then turn right. Okay. So, almost what I thought it was, just this little loop section's different. Uh, it is very steep. Jakobsen, you need to be pushing a lot harder now. You are technically pulling at the front. And let's use our first... And then everybody else should be chasing with everything they've got. Make sure we don't get dropped. A courageous rider is looking to break away. Okay, over the top. And yes, we did turn left. I was right. Now Meanwhile, Scottson. What the heck are you doing way the heck back here? 
Mezcatch I knew. Killin' I knew. Mezcatch is too far out of it and out of energy now, so he's out of the mix. Uh, Scottson, we're going to slide you backwards to where I'm at uh, just to try to get back up there. Okay, I've recovered. Schultz, Trentine, here's no solo. Jakobsen, how is that separated? There's no gap here. There's no gap here. I can see Jakobsen. He is not in a separate group. He is not in a separate group. There you go. Okay. Uh, back to this. Come on, Nazolo. We're already on to the climb, and Nazolo is not following. Let's uh, try this again. Follow. Jakobsen. I still wanted you on high effort. Just want Nazolo to fight through the freaking field, but he has been just awful about finding some space. There's some space. And he just keeps putting himself right behind somebody. Alright, Nazolo finally battles through. Trentine also running out of energy. We're down to Schultz. We still have a lot of climb left to go. Jakobsen, I want you to just hold position and then let's see, Scottson out of it. Not sure why he switched up what he was doing. But we now ride for how are you still not recovering here? Okay. Easy to the front, to the front. Good. 4.8 kilometer climb. We're down to 2.8. And Schultz work in the front. Set me up. And we still got to bring breakaway riders. There's still two of them away. And we're down to 33 riders now. 2K to go. And Schultz is about done. And uh, we're going to set him to 99. He's going to keep working. He's actually dropping riders, just his pure pace. Two riders off front, two minutes ahead though. And here comes Mikel Landa. And no, no, I don't want to attack him. I just want to uh, stay in a good spot. So 73. Okay, accelerate a bit. Volgren. Okay, accelerate a bit more. Why are you rushing to Uman? I'm right here. <laughs> 22 riders. Gap closing on the two. 500 meters. Easy, easy, easy. And let's just maintain position over the top. 18 riders chasing two. This is a much smaller group than what I expected. But we make it over the top, and we've got a bit of time to recover here. Two riders one minute ahead are people. Ciccone, Cataneo, those two again. Alright, recovery is on. We are going to have that steep little climb again, and we hit it the same direction. It's just where do we go from there after we go back down the side. Now, I could use water, but it's 15. Okay, to finish, I'm not going to get that myself. I want to keep my position right here. Fifth wheel from the front. Recovery very much is on, and we're going to start to level off, so I won't really recover anymore, most likely. Minute 22 to the guys at the front. We might not catch them. There they are. Them working together is bad for us, but they cannot have much left in the tank. They just went through the 10k banner. We're still 1k behind them, and we don't seem to be catching them. Sosa is not pushing much pace right now, so I think they're going to win the stage. Yep, they just pulled out 20 seconds. They've done it. Uh, we've got to attack that final climb. We need to be right near the front, and we need to have our gel active at that time. So, how to predict that? Let's see. 8k to go overall. We want the gel here in just a moment. We'll go at about 7.7. 7. Maybe 7.6. Okay, 7.6. There we go. 21 now chasing to Schultz's... 40 seconds behind us, I'd rather not have him come back. Uh, we've dropped to sixth wheel. We need to, the left hander coming up. Left hander coming up. We need to be ready for that. Slipping back a little further, about seventh wheel now. 
It's after that bend. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Move to the front, move to the front. Okay, now here comes the big acceleration by a lot of these guys. Not 99, I don't want to be 99, but I can't get caught behind. It's super short. 2.3K, we're going to attack here, try to open a little bit of space, and then we attack the descent. Just over 1K to go. Chicone, Cataneo. I've got a three-man break. i got a one-man break. To the finish, 500 meters, solo. Hagita just behind me, Barrier, and then here comes the rest of the field. If they don't give me a little gap uh, on a hill classified stage where I do open up, I claim third on the stage. I should have gotten a stage win, but Chicote and Cataneo didn't get pulled back. little surprised that Astana wasn't interested in that, considering they've got Roglic and Moss. Guys who certainly could have won the stage. And they had Sosa to do the work to pull it back, but he never did. Vanderpool is here? What? Oh, it's Matthew. Avenipol, 17, Mataway. Plenty of guys that were capable. I timed it right. I got the job done. I won. I had a small gap, and then a small gap, a small gap, and then the field. Hopefully the small gap, small gap, small gap trend didn't just put us all at one time, which I'm nervous that it will have, and I won't have gained anything other than four seconds for finishing third. Also unfortunate that the breakaway, two riders survive. And yeah, everybody gets the same time. The small gap, small gap, small gap to Higita Barrier before Ardia started. And maybe then Volgren couldn't tell which one of them was where we really got into the field versus small gap. But I get no gap at all. And even Schultz, Schultz gets the same time. <laughs> Wow, I just I, I cannot win, I cannot win. I, I just no luck, no luck in this game. I go out, I do the work, I get the result, and I gain nothing. Schultz was not in our group. He was fifty seconds behind. I leave my group behind and go off and all but win, and I still gain nothing. But four seconds. I got four seconds. All right, hooray. Move on leads, Moss is second, Roglic Bennert, I'm still fifth, I'm still only 23 seconds ahead of Haig. Uh, I'm a little ticked at myself that I wasted a minute and a half in that last episode, uh, being a little careless, a little reckless, a little less than focused, because if we t subtract a minute and a half from where I'm at right now, we're at 250, we're in third place on the podium. I'm second in the points classification right now. I'm still way too far behind, but a little surprised by that. I'm second in the under 25 is to better who you would think I should be ahead of. Team still way down in 17th, and that really goes to show that I, I am in a good place in 5th place. If my team is struggling that bad, I at least get some points for taking 3rd on that stage. Get a little evolution of interest for that as we are on the verge of wrapping up the month of May here. But we head into the two big stages that will decide this race. A lot is decided already, but there's plenty of position swapping that can still happen over the next two stages. So this is stage 19 of 21, 160 kilometers, 
one ulse category climb with one final hefty uh, category two, category one, not sure. 13K, 6.5%. I'd say that's more than a category two. 100k to go and you can see by looking at the team's profile killing already just about done and there's definitely some fatigue in others including myself as well and what this largely comes down to is just the pace of the field now there were eight riders away half of them quite strong but we never let them get a large gap I don't know if it was because of the strength of those riders or because this is a queen stage that is that ag2r down there or whoever that is let's see Attack by Rohan Dennis. okay uh a continental pro team i couldn't even tell you who this is right now is bardiani yeah, Bardiani, leading at the front. Alrighty then. They are turning on a tempo. Now Sunweb taking over. That has been too much for the field. So the four riders away we've lost sight of, but Avedipol, Uron, Meyer were among them, so was Caruso. So those four were among the eight. So the field or the breakaway already has imploded. Peloton, not yet. You can see it's getting close to some of these guys. Mezgech, still getting water. I sent him back 12, 14, 15 kilometers ago. So he's been at it for a while and just now gets to the front. Mezgech, I want you to hold the position up here, please. We're going to do this for a moment and then. Da -da 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 -da, and then maintain. There you go. And we're going to slowly bring up your teammates, Schultz. Especially before we get to the climb. Because these guys are going to be absolutely useless to me if they're behind us. So, Schultz, working to the front. Trentine, working to the front. The solo's on a plus five today. Scottson can climb a little bit, so let's bring you to the front. Killen's done. Uh, Nizolo is quite strong today, so why don't we bring you forward? Otherwise, normally I'd say no. Killen's the only one I'm not worried about. All right, guys. Uh, Schultz is already here. Back off. Trentine, back off, but maintain these positions, guys, and I might get some of you protecting each other. Oh, I can't do that. It's not career mode. Can't select them at once. All right. Uh, not through a click and drag, anyway. All right, so outside of killing, we're good now. Uh, Jakobsen, currently on duties, protecting me, and he's not strong, but he's a plus five, so that's going to help him. He's got great resistance today. Hopefully he can hang on for a little while as we get ready to begin the 25-kilometer climb with nearly 3k worth of climbing along the way. 6.3% average gradient. And you can see it definitely gets steeper towards the end. And we've already been going up for a long time. It hasn't been flat since about here. Up, up, up we go with the percentage getting gradually more and more and more. And I've been on those kind of roads, those kind of mountains not on my bike. Holy cow, I'm, I'm not that good. Uh, and I'm especially not a very good climber. <laughs> Much more of a sprinter myself. I don't think that has anything to do with why I am better at sprinting in this game than I am at climbing, but there we go. Uh, the pace is starting to become too much for some of these guys, so they are starting to drift back already. Set everyone to a 90. I need these guys to hold their position. Jakobsen doing well. His red bar is gone, though. Okay, Mezgech, I want you to protect someone who's nearby. No one. All right. You can chill out. 
You're going backwards. Uh, Nazolo might be a good one to say protect Schultz. And we've got either Scottson, who's 67-67. Uh, Why don't Scottson, why don't you protect Trentine for a little bit? The breakaway is not to everybody's liking. The Peloton has significant... Jakobsen is fading. That's my guy, so I'm going to have to uh, move, like, say, Nazolo to me. And Scottson's going backwards. Jakobsen's going backwards. Set those guys both to auto. Let them do their thing. And now we've got a four-man group. That means Trentian is going to protect Schultz. 102 left in the peloton. Just one rider left off the front. Damiano Caruso will not last much longer, meaning today's... Victor will actually come from the Peloton. A rare feat this late in the game, but it's the Queen Sage. Demolon's team seems eager to take it. Trentine's not going to last much longer here. Zolo, same. He's just hanging on. Pace isn't too bad right now. We're actually not dropping any riders. Spoke too soon. <laughs> but if Nozolo's hanging on on the edge here, it's at least still kind of giving me protection, even though he's behind me. But game mechanics are game mechanics. It doesn't quite work like it does in real life. Yeah, proximity. Now he's too far back, so we're going to let him go. Trentine is done. So we're going to let him go, and it's Schultz. We will use the Transcend for Schultz when we get a little higher up. I would imagine he's not going to make it to the top of this climb, but he might. Certainly could. We're down to, or up to, we're down to, or yo-yoing, 86 now. And a bit of gap opening in front of us. So there's enough pace that we're shrinking, but Schlegel, Clark, Simon Clark trying to get up front. Mataway, not the guys I'm worried about. Cataneo, so guys that have been in the breakaway are going back to the breakaway. And Schultz has made it. All right, so I'll have one rider for that final climb. We're down to 73 in the peloton. Refocus on myself for now. And wait, wait. 50k. 50k. Schultz has recovered. Schultz needs to go get water. Long, slow descent. Schultz is already back up here and recovered. And we actually ended up with some sort of split. But it's come back together. 70 riders. This downhill should be enough to counter whatever pressure there is in the field. That will, yeah, keeps our heart rate nice and low, so everybody should be at full strength when we hit the climb. Four riders off the front. One rider actually even came back to us, so that's 71. Too far back to the others, and we're about to begin that final climb. Schultz with a plus four. I've got a plus two today. That's both both of us that's going to help a lot for this climb. And here we go. 13.2 kilometers, 6.6% 6 .6 average grading, 1,800 meters of climbing. And up we go. I'm um, already set to a 90. That should be good. Uh, we will set Schultz to his transcend when the time comes. Just three riders ahead. Almost three minutes. But that should be something we could definitely pull back on this climb. Down to two and a half. Ten Schultz, red bar is fading. That would be a good time to use the transcend when it's gone. There we go. We're still on the lower slopes. It's going to get steeper. We've got a little yellow, green, yellow, orange, yellow. And then we get pretty consistent on the orange to the finish. The and we're into 
that full orange now. 6%, 8%. Seeing an acceleration by Artinez, who's in 13th. Not worried about him. He can go get himself a stage if he wants. Worried about leaders. Now, I'm still in a good position with 6k to go. And Schultz is hanging on. And not ready to use Transcend again, though. I think we did use it at a good time that gave him a bit of extra power. Now he's on the verge of fading and we're seeing an acceleration by Barrier. I think Moss is accelerating. Maybe not. Barrier is not one I'm worried about. Or should I be? No, he's in 15. Okay, here goes Schultz going backwards. Four and a half K to go. Let's use that gel. This is not that steep. We're coming back at these guys. We're down to 47 seconds. That's the front of the pack right there. Caruso still attacking at the front. And pace in the group here is ticking off the kilometers pretty quickly as we approach the top of the climb. Gel is kicking in with 3K to go. 27 riders here. Just two left ahead. Now just one left. Caruso's it. Here comes Carapaz. His acceleration. He's not the one I want to go with. I will try to go with somebody else, but we've got 2k to go. The attack's not working. Uh, Sosa chasing him down for Moss. That's his teammate, Moss. He's just in the national champion jersey. 1.4k, and I am just hanging on here, so uh, don't mind drifting a little bit here. Just 14 riders left, 900 meters. Just four of us left. Now we do want to try to hang on. Moss is fading. I am not fading yet, but I'm going to fade here in just a moment. But we will sprint out the final 200 meters. Demoulin's going to win another one. Lopez takes second. I get third. Moss is fourth. Here's the gaps behind us. Carapaz. Gegenhart. Barrier. Roglic. I definitely gained some time. This is going to be a good result. Bardet, Bennert. Bennert lost a bunch of time. Micah. And that's going to put me ahead of Bennert in the under-25s. I'm going to have the under-25s jersey going into tomorrow. Another big gap here. There's Haig losing a bunch of time. Gita Thomas. Okay, let's speed it up. This was a good result. This was an excellent result. Third place. I I even gained four seconds. That might have been my best result of this race. After two big climbs like that, to hang on, to have the energy. And of course, what did it come down to? I had the resistance today. Numbers were higher. I was able to hang in there. I took third, and it was close, with definite gaps behind me. But what gaps are going to be given? Let's find out. Dumoulin gets a nine-second gap over Lopez. I'm 19 down. Moss gets the same time. 53. That's a pretty good gap. To those four, and then a minute eight to the next five. And then gaps start opening pretty quick. Not huge gaps, though. Not huge gaps. But gaps are gaps. And especially after giving away time on the last episode, I'm glad to uh, earn some back today. So, standings. To move on in the race lead. Three minutes clear of Moss. Roglic is 4.16. I am 4.45. 11 seconds ahead of Bennert. Again, if only I had that minute and a half. I'd be at 3.15. I'd be seconds behind Moss for second place. I'd be almost comfortable in third. But one more big climbing stage to go that will affect things. And those guys, let's be honest, are better climbers than I am. Lopez at six minutes in sixth. Haig is seventh. Bill Bow is eighth after spending most of the race in the breakaway. Gegenhardt ninth. Micah, 10th, the last rider inside 10 minutes. 
it's not over yet because this next one is climb after climb after climb, if I remember correctly from looking at the profiles earlier. But I've got a real chance to beat Bennett and claim the under 25s jersey and finish on or just off the podium. <laughs> Third in the points classification, but Delmar will win that. Seven minute gap to Higita, but it's Bennett. It's clearly just him or I. And that's actually going to be more interesting to watch if if there was an actual TV broadcast to this of the whole field, not of just my rider in pro cyclist mode, but if it was the whole field, the focus would be on Bennett and I. It's a three minute gap from first place. Mulan's got the race in the bag. So points classifications wrapped up. KOM I wasn't paying attention to, but I think there was pretty... Good, good sized gaps there. So, naturally, what's the only thing still up for grabs? It's the under 25 jersey. So, they would be watching the two of us very closely on this next stage. We level up with the turn of the month. It's only worth a skill point. Next level will come with uh, attributes. And what do we want? Charisma, the willpower thing, but it never, I've never once had it come up because we, we keep our fitness high. <laughs> so stealth or passion. Uh, let's go with the passion. And update contract scenarios. We get back-to-back -back evolution of interest with two third places and a grand tour. And I know not the most popular of choices, but Idios is built for GC. And that's going to put them green. Double evolution, and we enter the final two stages of the race. And it's back to back to back climbs for this one over 135k, which means attack, attack, attack. Doesn't finish on that third climb. It finishes on technically a fourth climb. But after the long descent, it's just going to be straight attack on that finish. It's 2.3 kilometers at about 9%. So that's short. That's punchy. That's good for me. That is good for me. I can finish well as long as I am still there over the top of the third climb. 22 kilometers for that one. And I'm almost certainly going to be alone after the second climb. I would imagine by then I'll be alone. So that won't be an easy third climb. I am a little bit nervous before we enter this one on whether I can retain my place. If I'm still on the peloton right here, even if I have no energy left, I will finish well because of this short punchy one. But that's if I'm still there. This final four or five kilometers here is what makes me nervous. But that's, that's a stage fully deserving of complete coverage. Stage 21, yeah, it's short, it's easy. So next episode we will get beyond the Giro, but for this episode, I could do five minutes, but I, I definitely can't do a whole 20 minute stage. There's not enough time left to do that. So I'm going to have to go ahead and call it there. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button as we bounced back well today, moved up a spot, got two excellent results, practically won a stage outside of two breakaway riders, stealing it ahead of me. 
So it was a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.